Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Connie, with lots of yum for you. Today, we are going to make Mongolian chicken. Um, you can make use beef, chicken, pork, but today we're gonna to make Mongolian chicken, and it's a very delicious dish filled with a lot of different flavors. And so, instead of talking about it, let's dive right into cooking. We'll be right back. Hi everyone. Let's dive right into this. What you need for this particular recipe is I have prep cups. So what I do is I do I make prep cups for my ingredients. And so what we have here is one pound of chicken. I already cut it up. One pound of chicken, one fourth cup of cornstarch which I put in the Ziploc bag, and I will show you why in a minute. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. Three to four cloves of garlic. one to two teaspoons, and I love ginger, of ginger. A half a cup of soy sauce, and you can use soy sauce or soy sauce low sodium. A half a cup of water. Three fourths cup of brown sugar. and then one to two green onions, and sesame seeds are optional, but I do not have sesame seeds. So we are going to dive into the instructions on what to do. I will take the camera over to the pan and we will start getting ready. But first thing you wanna do is take your chicken, and I had done this already, but take your chicken, Pour it into your cornstarch. So this is my raw chicken. Pour it into your bag of cornstarch or scoop it in, whatever works. Don't touch raw chicken. All right. <laughs> you do have to wash your hands very well. Zip the bag and then you want to shake the chicken. And what you're going to do is let the chicken sit. The first thing we want to do is coat our chicken with cornstarch. You can leave your chicken actually in the bag or you can pour it back into the bowl. So anyway, this is what your chicken will look like coated with cornstarch. Okay? And we have that setting off to the side as we prepare our ingredients. And so we'll be right back to prepare our ingredients. Hi everyone, we are at the stove now and we're about to prepare um, our sauce for the, our sauce, and I have a saucepan, for the Mongolian chicken. And what we need to do is we're gonna pour in our half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of water, and our three-fourths cup of brown sugar. Our four cloves of garlic. And our two teaspoons, I think it's more like three, two teaspoons, but I put in three, I love the flavor of ginger, into our sauce and get our sauce started. So while we have our sauce on medium heat, we're gonna bring it to a boil. This is our sauce. 
we just put it on to start boiling. It has, of course, it hasn't boiled yet. See how thin it is. It's just liquidy. So we will come back to this sauce. Meanwhile, let's go over and start searing our chicken. Okay, as you can see, our sauce has come to a boil. There's no set minutes on that. When you see your sauce boiling, you know that it's come to a boil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the sauce for two to three minutes, and that allows our sugar to dissolve and allows the flavors to even mingle a little bit more. And then we're gonna reduce our heat on this one, now that we have it at a boil, to a low simmer. So I'm turning the fire down to a low simmer. You don't need to put a top on this. And what's happening is now that it's simmering, the flavors are mingling even more and the sauce is going to thicken. And that's what we need, that thick sauce. While our sauce is thickening, which takes about, I don't know, yesterday it took me about 10 minutes when I did this recipe for our luncheon. So we will see, I'll keep an eye on the sauce. Meanwhile, we're gonna go over and start cooking our chicken. We're going to add one tablespoon of sesame oil and the two tablespoons of the olive oil to cook the chicken in. We'll start putting our chicken in the pan and waiting for the grease to get hot. So we'll wait for that grease to get hot and then we start putting the chicken in the pan. And our sauce is over here on this side, simmering. Okay, our grease is hot. And now we're gonna start putting the chicken in the grease, the hot grease. Remember the chicken is coated with cornstarch. What we're doing is browning the chicken. I think this pan is full enough, so we're gonna use that and make a second batch of the chicken. We already have enough chicken in our pan for now. I'm gonna say it takes about five minutes, but check because everyone has a different type of flame or electric stove, and some people, when it's, you know, you say low, everyone has their own kind of idea of what low is. So keep an eye on your chicken, brown it on each side, and put it on a separate plate. And as we're cooking our chicken, our sauce is still simmering. It takes a little bit, so we let the sauce simmer to get thicker. And all the flavors are mingling in the sauce, like the ginger and the garlic, and the soy sauce. Our chicken is browning up nicely. So 
So you make sure you brown it on both sides. Cooking very nicely here. Hi everyone, welcome back. And this is the chicken, our cooked batch. It's nice and brown, looks very good. I'm gonna sit it off to the side. We still, and this is our second batch. And over here, we still have our, on this side, still have our sauce getting thicker. So it's still simmering. I'm just waiting for it. It's getting thicker, but it'll thick it up. So, I'm just letting it cook and simmer. Hi, everyone. So, our chicken is fried up. What we're going to do is our chicken is browned. We're going to put the rest of this chicken back in here, our already cooked chicken. And then we're going to take the sauce and pour our sauce in the pan. Make sure we coat all the chicken with our sauce, with the sauce. And there we go. Now our sauce is cooking, starting to bubble. Let me make sure I get, there we go. I'm going to cook it like this for about three minutes. Let it bubble like this. Make sure you stir. Make sure all the chicken is covered with sauce. I mean, it's not going to be covered like, you know, but like this. Make sure you have it, you know, everything has sauce on it. Looks very good. Smells very good. To simmer the chicken and the sauce together on low heat for about three to five minutes. So I'm gonna lower my temp right now. Just kind of let it do this for about another three to five minutes. I'm gonna go with four minutes, how about that? So we'll let this simmer in four minutes and um, be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. And this dish, it's gotten thicker, our sauce. We're gonna give it one final turn. Okay, I boiled it for, you know, simmered it for five minutes. The cornstarch in this will make it a little bit thicker and it helps coat the chicken. And then we're gonna move this over to this plate. So, I'll be right back with the final. Hi everybody. I've taken the chicken, our finished product, and put it on this plate. Looks delicious. And then we have our green onions, which is our final topping. And we're gonna put the green onions on top as garnishment to give our food a little color. It actually adds a little flavor, okay. This is a very delicious dish, lots of flavor. All right, so how do we look? Oh, sorry about that, I forgot that, just like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I've got my, you guys know, my tasting plate. Let me scoop up a little bit. A couple of pieces here. I got my professional tasting fork. And let's see what we got. All right, let's say it together. Deliciousness. Once again, another delicious meal. Thank you for coming and visiting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. We are going to learn how to make Thai red curry lettuce wraps. Another delicious dish. Thank you so much for visiting. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.